Hey yo, glad you are back. This is a Tuesday toy photography tutorial and we are gonna make stuff fly. Let's go. So you have to time it right when you're dropping the figure or when you're tossing him and you get the perfect shot and pose. Just kidding. This was a subscriber request. So if there's something that you wanna learn how I do it, let me know in the comments. When it comes to making a figure fly or float, there's two parts. What? Poop. Okay. There's two parts to making a figure fly. The first one is going to be elevating or actually getting the figure in the air. The most practical and my favorite way to do it is with wire. The wire that I use is pretty thick. It's not the thickest. And I know some people might take it up a notch or two, but I feel like this works really well is it is strong enough to hold most of the six inch figures. I'll have a link in the description to this exact roll of wire that I use. If you're outside, you could just stick it in the ground and then set the figure on top. Or if you're on a hard surface or inside, what I like to do is kind of just make like a little stand and get it nice and flat to where it'll balance and then just pop the figure on and it works. This is also really good, like you can make smaller ones for like if they're doing a running pose or like some other kind of action pose that they can't balance on their own, like boom, very easy, pop this up, give them an extra leg. Another way that I've seen done is like the little stands that come with some figures. I don't normally do this, but it can definitely work the same way. I've also used fishing line before to hang figures up like I did Obi-Wan in my last shot. I've also hung a Charizard and different ships. And I actually did this way recently where I just held up a figure. In my recent Iron Man shot, I was just holding him. So this would be a little bit tricky to edit out and harder than wire, but I know from my shot, I cropped in to where I knew my hand wouldn't show. So it did work out. So this video is sponsored by no one. I suck at drawing, but I've been loving my iPad. I made this last night that I'm pretty proud of. We know how to get them in the air. Let's go take the shot and then remove that wire. If possible, to make it the easiest, you can try to hide the wire when you're posing. Like in this shot, I had the Mandalorian on a wire and didn't have to edit it out because you can't see it. But if you can't hide it, then we're gonna have to edit it out. I use Photoshop for all these edits and there might be some methods that work in other programs, but Photoshop is so good at this. The best way most of the time for me is simply selecting the wire, which I use the lasso tool to go around the wire. And then just go to fill and then content aware and boom, it's gone. Magic. Another way that I use sometimes is the heel brush tool. The clone stamp can work in a similar way if done carefully. You need to mark what you want to copy and then brush over the wire. Usually you want to mark right next to the wire and it's going to blend in better. That's pretty much it for making them fly. Let me know what you think and if you have any other tutorial requests, put them in the comments. Go create and inspire. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.